Good evening, everyone. Anna here. I'm on here tonight, um, which is late for me. I never put a video up this late, but I'm going to put it up this evening. I've had a rough day today. I felt rather somber, like gloomy all day for, I don't even know why, but it's just feeling I couldn't shake. So I decided to pull out some of my jewelry and look at it. And I was taking in the amount that I've managed to find and collect over the last year, which I'm impressed by. Um, I'm a new uh, collector and seller, and I believe I've, uh, I've provided a lot of beautiful jewelry for other people, and I've kept a decent amount for myself. Let me, let me show you. And maybe materialistic, but it lifted my mood because these are things that do, I do um, enjoy and make me happy, um, make me feel high, a little higher in spirits when I'm not. But this is my Amber Heart. You've heard me talk about this and you've seen it before. I found this online advertised as plastic with, um, with something in it, <laughs> basically. But that's beautiful. And this was listed as base metal, as, as silver tone. This is a uh, Marcusite's vintage uh, necklace with Marcusite's and sterling silver um, and a beautiful Baltic amber heart. It's fabulous. This was a great find for me online. I, I really like that necklace. That's probably my very favorite. I've offered this before, but I've decided to keep it. This is a, I believe, Art Deco or Edwardian Art Deco. I'm not really sure exactly which one. But it is Marcusites and Onyx and Sterling Silver, a lavalier necklace. I've decided I would keep this one for myself since it was my first find, at least for now. It's a beautiful necklace. I like that. I'm not going to just do all necklaces. So this is a pink sapphire and gold, 14K gold. This is a fabulous find for me. I believe it's a pink sapphire. It goes up to ruby and sapphire. I think it's a pink sapphire. I haven't taken it to the jeweler yet, but it's vintage. Not quite sure how old. Beautiful, 14 karat gold. It's, it's a lovely piece. I, I like that as well. <clears throat> Obviously, I like everything. I'm going to keep it. Um, I don't know like what this is, but it glows. Like I don't know if that's actually emerald or not. Um, I don't think so, because it doesn't test as anything on my gem tester. But I would take it up to the jeweler to confirm. This is a nice uh, Art Deco heavy um, sterling silver. I believe it's marked sterling back here and has some other markings on. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but... It's a marvelous brooch. It's very heavy. Sterling silver. Beautiful brooch. I like that. I never even considered selling that or my heart or this. This one I did. But I decided not to. <laughs> I am. Um, I have these. These are marvelous. These are the best I've ever seen and maybe the best other people may have seen. I have the details of this in a message from a trusted source. Um, these are marvelous wedding cake, vintage wedding cake beads. I, I can't remember exactly Latisse. I, I don't remember all the details, but these are marvelous. And look at them. They're beautiful. I just look at them. I've never worn them yet, but these are marvelous. I may not call everything the exact thing it is and so forth. I do know beauty, though. Beautiful things. Um, what else? Uh, oh, this. This is marvelous. This is chevron beads. This is 18 karat gold. And I found this really unlikely place. I didn't know what it was. Um... Vintage... Chevron beads. I do have the bead book. These are this is a marvelous necklace. I don't know the value of it. It's something I wouldn't sell at this point right now. Anyways, I'm fond of it. <clears throat> I just found this. This is my Cora. I believe this is gold filled. Low carat gold nine and under is considered gold filled. Those are opal glass and not real rubies, but ruby colored glass. There. This is a Coro. And I think it's gold filled, which would be nine or lower. 
It's beautiful. I like it. I collect Cora a little bit. I have, um, this is a Mexican. I think it's Cornelian. I'm not really sure, but i very fond of the modernist type looking jewelry. I don't know if it says modernist. I'm not saying it is, but it's a marvelous ring. Where does it? Pink earring. That one I had handmade. I had this custom made for me so I'd know what turquoise looks like from VNC Hill. They saw on Facebook that she makes beautiful jewelry. I don't know what her husband makes. I've I looked at hers. I see her on the Native American jewelry lovers. I think they're not Navajo. Could be wrong, but I, I really like this. I like that look. <clears throat> and I have this one. What is this? Related quartz, I believe it called. It's gold in there. It's beautiful. This is like a mix. This is Mexican. Sterling silver and gold. I found that at the estate sale. Both of these came from the same estate sale. This, I can't remember the name because I don't know where the piece of paper went. This is, um, oh my goodness, I don't, I gotta find a piece of paper because now I'm gonna do a bunch of research again. This is made, this is clay molded and a copper molded on top of it. This is an art, an artist, and I cannot remember her name. I'm pretty certain it's her work. Reed, I think, was her last name. I gotta find that paper, but I like it. This is from the estate sale. So it's the, one of the only items I kept from that estate sale. So. I sold everything else, but I really liked that. Um, it was unique. I, this is one of my first pieces I found that I really, really liked. This is Monet, and this is just exquisitely beautiful Monet. Look at that. That's a beautiful Monet necklace. I'd probably say I've had their Corpois necklaces, a few of them. Um... This is probably my favorite, and this is not Grippois, obviously. I know this is not poured glass. This is beautiful, the Marcosites and <clears throat> black glass, and that's Monet. What can I say? <laughs> I've had this over a year. I've sold, I sold a beautiful pink one that was similar online for way less than what I showed off. Now that I know that, that's worth something. I know it is. I just, I don't, I can't even find it anywhere. Look at her. I, I really like this. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's just like copper. Kind of looks like dirty gold. I don't know. She's cool. From one of the estate sales. I haven't gone to any lately. I do love the estate sales. I also love the thrift store. Some of these things have come from thrift stores. I just like pick them up from there. I find fabulous things everywhere I go. I'm, I feel like I have the somewhat a curse of luck on me. Um... These, this is beautiful, Marcosite, and I have a lot of kind people who really like me as well. I'm going to show you something from one of them, too. Um, okay, I bought this. I found this um, Happen Pond set. So those are gemstones, Marcosites, and sterling silver. This is a beautiful bracelet. I really like it. And I hear a lot of beautiful, fabulous, marvelous, magnificent, wonderful. <laughs> <coughs> this is from Sue Den and the Diamonds. I, I forget what this is called, actually. It's telling a story there. Oh, my God. I can't remember. But I got that from Sue. Denim the Diamond. She sells fabulous things. She really does. It's where my watch chain, um, that watch fob chain I sold last week came from. This is beautiful. I, I really like it. I won't sell that one. It's one I'll keep. Um, these are little Rivoli. Look at these. They're missing one red stone. Little Christmas trees. I don't know who the maker is on them. I have to search them better. But look at that. They're Rivoli's watermelon, I guess you call it, Rivoli Christmas trees. These are scatter brooch pins. Pretty nice. There's one stone missing somewhere on here, but I think those are pretty marvelous. This is a Dutch girl. At least that's what it looks like to me. Sterling silver. That's a picture, a painting, like a drawing back there. It's all, it's Sterling or 800. I don't know which one, to be honest. Um... I, let's see. Oh, this one is from um, Sylvia. She makes these and sells these. Lady Sylvia here on YouTube. This is marvelous. Sells on Ruby Lane or you can contact her directly. This is the Sun Goddess. I feel very fortunate to have gotten a Swarovski Crystal Pearls. Marvelous. I love it. I've worn it one of my lives. This is fabulous. Lady Sylvia. Um, she made me this bracelet too. Look. Very pretty. I like the bronze tones made with copper. Her things are made with quality products. <clears throat> um, oh, 
Uh, let me see. Oh, this is, um, I believe, oh my, wait, look at this, guys, look at this. This is marvelous. I haven't worn it out of the house yet because I barely go anywhere. But when I do, <laughs> this is beautiful. I, this is, um, I, I don't know where this is made from or whatever, but this is m magnificent. I've worn it at one of my lives, like to cover my cleavage, and it's great for that. This is beautiful black glass and sequins, marvelous, very, like a bib. What are they, don't they call these bibs or something? I forget what they call these. This is definitely not the, a Dickies, do they call them? This is definitely not your typical Dickie. This is the most beautiful one I've ever seen, and it's beautiful. French, maybe. I don't know. Marvelous. This is something I don't intend on selling. You never know, though. <coughs> Sometimes I pull out of my things I don't intend on selling. This is multiple. There's some ruby on here. Um, emeralds. These are multiple gemstones. It's, it's sterling and gemstone. Interesting. I'd only seen one other one online. I like it. I decided I would keep that. This is made in Austria. This is really lovely. Look at how beautiful I Looks like it should glow. It doesn't. It's really pretty, huh? It's Austria. I've shown this just recently. This is um, not Coro, but I thought it should be. I think it's Goldfeld. <coughs> nice. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'll keep it now, I guess. It didn't sell when I tried. This is, um, I got this from me and Goddess Treasures. I've not seen her in a long, long time, Crystal. This is, this is a Coro Sterling opal glass and, um, rhinestones. But I, it's Coro Sterling. Uh, I, I collect Coro, Coro Sterling as well. But that was from her. I have one from Thelma, Thelma Thrift. She auctions over on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I'll come about it in a minute. I kept this because the circuses are going to be a thing of past. This is Barnum and Bailey, I think. Is that the circus it was? I don't know. But I kept it. Because it's cool. And I do believe if they are not already, they will be a thing of the past in the near future. Cora Sterling. Very beautiful. And... They're doing something weird. Are these gemstone? I don't know. Look at that. What does that mean? Anybody on here watching it would know? <laughs> I know you got it. sometimes the people. I don't know what these are. I'll have to test them. They are core sterling and they're beautiful. Um, these I found um, out thrifting. Actually, look how marvelous these are. These are special. These look art, I don't know, Art Nouveau possibly. These are um, Native American. I don't know if they're Navajo or Native American. Are they signed Sterling? They may not be signed at all. Because some of the older ones aren't. I know that. I don't know where my magnifying glass is. And I'm not going to worry about that. Because I'm not selling them. These are mine. For now. And I really like them. The turquoise is marvelous. They look like. Let's see. They have the swallow on them. The bird. And the leaves. I believe they're Art Nouveau. Possibly. I could be wrong on that. Again. I don't know everything. They have French hawk also. <clears throat> this is pearls, a ruby, or garnet, pearls, and gold. I believe this one's 14K. That's nice. I've had this for about two years. I found this early on. And I never sold it because I like it. Okay. <laughs> it's 14K, the little pearls, and a garnet. It's not a ruby. These are gold filled. I have two of them. These are really pretty. Um, nice. I believe they're Art Deco. Period. They're gold filled. Um, this is a garnet and marcasite and sterling silver vintage brooch. Very pretty. I thought it was lovely. I bought that online. I bought these off Thelma Thrift. I really like these. <laughs> Adorable. Coral and turquoise and the little bears. They're sterling. They're really cute. I like them. <clears throat> I bought this for myself. This is um 
I don't know the years on this. This is possibly Edwardian, if anybody's watching in. Blue glass, fabulous blue glass. Um, marvelous ring hair. Um, I have a light, too. I have a pair of earrings I think might be Alexandrite in here. It's not this, but this is lovely. I like this. This is um, sterling. It's marked sterling and blue glass, and it's vintage. I don't know how old. It's a nice, well-made ring. What else do I have? This is missing a stone, which is sad, but it's paste. It's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Besides the one stone. I couldn't tell it was missing when I bought it. <coughs> I would have still bought it, probably. My lovebirds. I love my lovebirds. Can't deny it. Copper and Austria. Beautiful. I keep those purple forever. My caterpillar. I've shown this before. I mean, this is Austria, too, I believe. Marvelous, right? Um, this, I just found this. This is cool. This is a nice heavy little thing. It's four grams of 10 karat gold. Avon highest honors or whatever with seed pearls. It's marvelous. Onyx seed pearls and gold. 10 karat gold. Little, that's, I think it's a good find and I like it. I used to sell Avon, but I never won an award. <laughs> this here, these. I don't know. Okay. These need looked at. These are Wells, vintage Wells gold filled. And when I put them under the light before they change color, so I'll take them out in the sunlight and see if they maybe they're Alexandrite. They're pretty. I've kept them. I've had them for a while because I don't know what they are. This, I believe, is angel skin coral, and this is gold cameo. I like that. I just picked that on this. I've had this. My laboratory stone that I want to have laid. This is a really good find. I found this in a jewelry jar, um, a big jewelry bag from Shop Goodwill. And I thought it was, I had enough scrap. Like it was like, like it was like, you know, a scrap. Not valuable enough. This is 14 karat white gold and an, an amethyst. And it went almost fits, well, it's small, it's like a four. It won't fit that finger. My fingers are chubby. Um, It's beautiful, though. And it's 14 karat white gold and an amethyst. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the other one I got from Thumb of Thrift. Coro, um, Coro Sterling, 1940s piece. I collect Coro. I think I said that. I don't know who this is. If anybody knows, shout it out to me. This is marvelous. Look how beautiful those stones are. This is beautiful. I gave it to my daughter and she gave it back to me because I was fascinated by it. She's like, you can have it back. I don't really wear it. I get this from Adrian. Alamode by Adrian. This is another Coro Sterling. It's a big one. You know, I collect the Coro. I was happy to find this. Um... I think it's a core of sterling maybe i don't have my thing in front of me i'm pretty sorry it's definitely sterling and verme it has gold over it. it's verme but it's beautiful i i like that it's big and i believe it is cora this is vintage not it's not antique but vintage and that's a lovely citrine you know i was reading on citrine and when you could see like the fire coming up from the bottom of it this this is a good stone i tried selling this last week actually no bitters on it. Um, I'll probably keep it at this point. It's a fabulous citrine stone. I have another one. Um, where is it? Did I show that? No. <clears throat> this is my Art Deco citrine. Let's compare them. Pretty close, right? And this lot, the stone's fantastic. This one's Art Deco. This one fits my ring finger. Um, beautiful that's art deco and it's fabulous citrine look at fiery it looks they're both good quality citrine this one's my favorite i'd sell that one before this one this is vintage orlando let me see if i can get this to glow i don't know if she would be if some look kind of glows see that like is that just yeah it does glow well i'm not in the dark it, like, 
not everything like changes the color when you put this on. Well, maybe it does. I don't know. This glows. This is vintage Orlando. <clears throat> Fabulous vintage ring, mid-century. And I love this ring. I found this in a jewelry lot from Shop Goodwill. I like buying the lots better than the big boxes. Although, that one ring, the gold, um, 14 karat gold, was in a big lot. And I threw it in a pile of, like, rings to give away cheap. You know, and then the one day I tested it. This is like a four or $500 ring. This one was in a lot, though. I typically buy the lots more. Um, I also got any, uh, this was in with a gold filled lot. I don't know if it's gold filled. I haven't tested it. <clears throat> but the other ones were, um, I sold everything else but that. I usually can keep one piece when I do well on a lot. These two pearls, these are two to, to wear together. And I have a pair of earrings that match them. I, I like it. I like that color. They're like the kind of like black, not quite though. They're purple. I sold a fabulous pair of black pearls when I was on Dawn's channel um, not long ago. Well, last year. Had some vintage that is. Um, This is pearls. They're knotted and on sterling. I have a necklace, a bracelet. And simple. I sold the Tiffany's I find. I kept these for myself. Marvelous set though. Looks good together. Very pretty actually. A decent set. Not not hundreds and I don't know how much they're worth. I like them. <clears throat> I this is I believe this is platinum. Yeah, this is platinum. And that's not a citrine, that is glass right there. Um, I tested it. Um it's beautiful though. I can't remember how old this is. It's vintage, I know that. <laughs> I'd have to look back. This is marvelous, I think. This is my first this is Victorian. I know that. Um this is a big amethyst. Look at that. Marvelous. And I think it's 800 silver. Look how, look at the work on it. Look at the amethyst. It's beautiful, isn't it? I really like that. I bought that online. This amber necklace, I bought it in a state sale. Decided to keep it. I like to have raw amber on my skin. I tried selling. I think that's gold. This is a very good quality piece of jewelry. This is actually, so I kept this and something else from that auction. That estate sale. This one. That's the only brooch. I, I had bought an entire table out at that sale. I mean, I went in and I cleared the table. Not all of it. But I bought like a, I bought so much jewelry. You guys, you probably remember that. That was a fabulous uh Fabulous estate sale for me. I have offered this before and it didn't go. This is marvelous. I think this is retro. This is sterling silver. I have the details and a message. I'd have to look back, but this is glass. This is a marvelous ring. I can't remember exact details. I was told. I I mean I asked for some assistance on Ellen. This is pearls. And garnet. This is beautiful. It's gold and sterling silver. You see the gold trimming. And it's sterling silver. And it's marvelous. I bought that for myself. When I found it, I didn't... I mean... Okay. Let me... This is Kathy. Um, Kathy's a subscriber of mine. And she gifted me generously with a lot of jewelry. And I've sold most of it. I will be bringing the one little bird, Thunderbird tomorrow. But this is the Boulder Turquoise. I think this, I, you know, she said to do what I want with it. And I've sold most of it to make money. But I'm going to keep this. This chain was mine. I found this. I got a great deal on this. This is a very substantial, lovely chain. Sterling silver. And that's Boulder Turquoise. It does have um, M. Spencer on the back. Like the ring. But this one I decided to keep. That'll be the only thing I've kept out of that large collection of jewelry that she sent me. All that fantastic Native American Navajo. This is Givenchy, I believe. I still have to confirm it. But look at that. That's marvelous. That's a marvelous necklace. All those crystals and it's gold plated. White gold plated or sterling. They gold plate their jewelry. They may sterling plate it too, but this is what it, it's very nice. I've kept that. I tried selling it at one point, but I got nervous because I didn't confirm it. I have to confirm it, but for now it's mine. Victorian um, coral and gold. 
coral wrapped in gold. That's Victorian. <clears throat> I like this. Look at this. That's beautiful. All those like black rhinestones, like they're black rhinestones going around. They're grayish rhinestones. That's beautiful. It looks like a picture, right? Something that would be sitting on a windowsill in Italy, all that stuff or something. I know, I thought it was really lovely. Sorry about the shaking. These, these I've shown just recently. I like the comedy and tragedy. I also have a ring I got off Thelma. I didn't pull it out. I love it. I've shown that just recently. That's just from Misty at Misty's Treasure Chest. She sent me a, I bought a box off her and this was in there. This is a West Germany dress clip. This is Poseidon. This is probably my fa very favorite dress clip that I have. I did offer it at one time. It did not sell. Now that I'm, I'm not, in, I probably wouldn't sell it again, but that's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. That's a one of a kind dress clip, I think. I've never seen one before and I may never again. These, I don't know. I think these are Dutch made. Not really sure. These are silver 800, I think. Those are marvelous. Look at the clips. These are a vintage airing. There's the clip and... I don't know anything about this, but I decided I wasn't selling it. <laughs> it's marvelous. It's pa They look pastry, like the rhinestones on there are crystals. This is lovely. That's beautiful, I think. I don't see a maker's mark. I have to look closer. I haven't investigated it a whole lot. It's been laying back there. Like a tiny little snake. Adorable. He's missing a rhinestone eye, but he's a little bridge. So he's cute. I don't know who that is, why you, but this is beautiful, I thought, so I kept it. My shoe clips, I've shown these once or twice before. I, I really like these Art Deco cat shoe clips. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't. <laughs> <clears throat> and this is gold. I can't remember what it says on there. It's some type of patern fraternity. Da -da. This is garnet, emerald, garnet, opal, and gold. That's vintage. And this is tiger eye, and I, I don't know if it's gold or not. I'll have to look at tiger eye and enamel. I think it's gold as well. So that's it. Oh, one more. I like these. I don't know. I have to test them and see if they're, I mean, I, they're not. They're, these are just cubic zirconian or something, but they're beautiful. So that's what I look through today and I figured I'd do a video on it now I gotta put it back so those are some of my favorite things and I hope you saw something you like you probably seen me wear some of the rings and I've shown all this at some point some a long time ago some just recently anyways I hope you have I will be putting my um preview video up tomorrow and um I think I'm bringing a Thunderbird room tomorrow there's other things as well I might bring my Ross Simmons um ruby necklace with the pearl at the end it's fantastic gold and there's other things uh probably at sterling bracelet but anyways i will see everybody my video will come out um it'll be like afternoon two o'clock or something probably i'll be on at eight i'll try to get it out as early as possible thank you for watching my video and give me a thumbs up and tell me what your favorite piece out of all these beautiful things are are nice things not all of them are beautiful that's not beautiful but i love it look he has a tear it was me today no i'm joking <laughs> have a good evening or a good day thank you bye